life after natural disasters in the third world. Rob Green, he's come up with songs with important health messages and catchy melodies as well. He spoke to Seven Sharps, Brody Kane. On the outskirts of Wamaru in this small makeshift studio, Rob Greeny is having a jam. And if you listen carefully, you'll notice it's not your run of the mill song. The purpose of Rob's music is to get the world's poor thinking about how they live. The world uses jingles and songs to sell pretty much anything from cheese to real estate to cars. So um, if people buy those things, why can't they buy health messages using jingles as well? Rob's current target audience is in the Philippines. Like many in the world, he was shocked by the devastation caused by Typhoon Haiyan. It hit the poorest parts of the country, killed more than 6,000 and left millions of people displaced. Back in Oamaru, Rob gathered the local Filipino community and together they worked their magic. It talks about water and how, um, like how to transport water and to keep it clean. <laughs> And do they work? Well, Rob went to the Philippines last month to find out. He taught his songs to locals and he was able to get them onto local radio stations. I had a, uh, a driver uh, driving me around at the, um, for the last week I was there and he was a very shy guy. But when uh, the song Tin Dog Kita which was our first uh, release, when that came on the radio, he just suddenly burst into song, <laughs> actually got a fright. So from this small room in good old Wamaru, music is helping change part of the world for the better. Brody Kane with that report. Just ahead on tonight, the controversial World Cup cleanup. Right, police in Brazil force hundreds of squatters from their homes. And why going up one of the world's tallest buildings wasn't all it cracked up to be for two tourists. If Alex started slating everything, I think...